In October 2010, we visited Barcelona for three days. We stayed in a hotel near La Sagrada Familia. We were very surprised to see a grand lift that was operating in that hotel. The construction of the lift reminded us what to expect from Barcelona. Could be an architectural marvel. La Sagrada Familia, which is a church created by great architect Antoni Gaudi. Gaudi's work was influenced by his passions in life, architecture, nature and religion. He used ceramic pieces, stained glass, wrought iron forging and carpentry into his architecture. This is the largest unfinished Catholic church in the world. It remained unfinished at the time of Gaudi's death in 1926. We also found that La Sagrada Familia is a UNESCO heritage site. As we visited Barcelona more than 10 years ago, we believe La Sagrada Familia's construction has progressed since then. For the rest of the day, we toured around the great city, visited lots of landmarks and also enjoyed the extraordinary architecture around Barcelona. La Rotunda was one of the most prolific architecture in Barcelona that we enjoyed. Travelling through all these wonderful architecture of Barcelona made us captivated. In Spanish, casa means a person's house or home. We visited architecturally famous few casas in Barcelona. And finally, we arrived at Casa Mila, Gaudi's most iconic work of civil architecture. After visiting few more places in Barcelona, we arrived at the Montjuic National Palace, home of Catalonia's National Art Museum. The view of Barcelona was spectacular from the top. Montjuic translates to Jewish mountain from medieval Latin and Catalan. Montjuic, because of its strategic location on Mediterranean and the riverside, it was the birthplace of city of Barcelona. It was a very hot October day in Barcelona. We enjoyed the view of the city from the top for a while.
We visited the 1992 Summer Olympic Stadium and the Olympic Ring on the Monswick Hill. Completed in 1929, the Olympic Stadium was intended to host an anti-fascist alternative Olympics in 1936 in opposition to the 1936 Berlin Olympics. These plans were cancelled due to the outbreak of Spanish Civil War. Overlooking the Torre de Calatrava communication tower, Olympic Park was a great place to visit. We still remember 1992 Summer Olympic, probably the greatest Summer Olympic in modern time. Because 169 nations participated without any political protests. In the evening, we passed through the city once more, enjoying the architecture before visiting Barcelona Port and La Ramla. La Ramla is a very popular and busy shopping street in Barcelona, overlooking the Columbus Monument. Our next destination was Barcelona Football Stadium or Nou Camp. Inside Nou Camp, atmosphere was electrifying. We booked a ticket for a Champions League match between Barcelona and Dynamo Kiev. Coming to Nou Camp and watching Messi playing live was a dream came true. With capacity near 100,000, Nou Camp is one of the greatest football stadiums in the world. The stadium was full of Barcelona supporters and also a huge number of supporters from Ukraine. And finally, Messi started with Ibrahimovic. Around 2010-11, the Barcelona team was one of the greatest, if not the best team in the world that time. But Dynamo Kiev was not giving up without a fight. We 
We couldn't expect any better. It was a sensational match ended with Barcelona victorious. Messi scoring the winning goal. What a match that was. Música, música, música de la República. Thank you for watching our travel videos. Hope you enjoyed Barcelona.